This is a good idea. <laughs> After Sayori gives her gives her thoughts on the matter, the room falls silent again. But this time things seem a bit more at ease. <sighs> Yawn! Please shut up. Yuri and Nasuke are clearly thinking hard about what sort of club activity they'd want to participate in. I imagine Yuri is going to have a little bit of a hard time giving her thoughts, so I wait until they both seem to have decided before asking Natsuki. So Natsuki, what do you want to do in the club today? Well, well I was sort of expecting that we could all kind of get some time to chill out for a little bit. Read our books in silence. I don't want to totally ignore everyone or anything, but I just think it would be best if we eased into things, you know? We can do a bigger group activities later, and we get to know each other better. I agree with that as well. I mean, it wasn't the idea I'd come up with, but... I do agree with the idea. It sounds like a reasonable way for things to start. I certainly wouldn't mind getting some time to read to myself. Noski actually seems to be smiling at that, just a little bit. I do the same. Happy to see that they seem to be finding at least a tinge of common ground. Maybe they really can salvage their potential friendship. Well, I'm glad to hear you're willing to try Natsuki's idea, Yuri. But what did you come up with? Oh, yes, um... I don't know if this is a common way of introducing members in clubs, but I've always imagined an effective method of getting a group to know each other is if we all shared a few details about our interests and personalities. In this case, since we're all part of a literature club, it would make sense to explain what sort of stories we all like to read. It won't need to be too detailed, nor would I have to give out any, any titles or authors if we don't want to, but something along the lines of a preferred genre would do. I'm not quite sure, though. What do you think, Zero? That sounds like a pretty good idea, Yuri. Let's all work with these, alright? They all came together in a circle of sorts, ready to vote in our favorite ideas. Alright, I'm gonna call out each of the ideas we come up with, one at a time. Close your eyes and just raise your hand when the idea you want most is called out. Wait. Okay, but wait, but there's an onion. Oh no, am I gonna have to vote? I'm gonna be the last vote, aren't I? <laughs> I'm gonna be the last vote, I can already tell. They eat too much chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I didn't mean to take over this voting session as a leader, but seeing as I'm the only one who didn't give an idea, then I didn't really have a preference. It made sense for me to handle this part, so I can at least act like I was doing something productive. All three of them thankfully seem to follow me my lead, closing their eyes and waiting patiently. Follow me lead. After a couple <laughs> seconds, we got things started. Okay, first, reading circle. So she rose her hand, her smile beaming as brightly as ever. Nasuke just stood there, though, not moving. That was sort of expected. <laughs> all right, next. They're all gonna vote for theirs, aren't they? <laughs> all right, next. Book discussion. They're a genre sharing. Sorry, this has already been voted, so she obviously kept her hand down. She rose her hand quietly, kind of looking awkward even with her eyes closed. Nasuke didn't raise her hand at all, just sternly standing there. Yep, I fucking knew it. I'm gonna have to be the deciding vote. <laughs> I was already starting to see a problem with this idea. <laughs> okay, finally. Silent reading. Yuri and Sari stood there, done moving. And Natsuki naturally rolls her hand up towards the sky, sealing her vote. <sighs> Everyone open your eyes. Right on my cue, all of them open their eyes, staring at me expectantly. I sort of chuckled nervously, embarrassed not realizing that this was going to happen. It's... Um, a tie. You all voted for your own ideas. Hee <laughs> oopsie. Uh, uh, my mistake. Well, it's not like you never said we couldn't, so of course we voted for what we suggested. That's what we all wanted the most. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's my bad. We all just stared at each other silently for a few seconds, just as awkwardly as before. Suddenly, I see Sarah's eyes widen. I could practically see the light bulb turning in, uh, turning on in her head. Actually, this is perfect! If each of us voted for our own idea, that means it's one for one for one! You're the deciding vote, Zero! Wait, wait, what? I am? Of course! We all voted but you, right? Well, yeah, but... 
then you'll be our tiebreaker. It's perfect. Come on, vote. Suddenly, I could feel all three girls staring straight at me, like their eyes were digging into my soul. I was trapped. I had to pick something. I, uh... I try to think carefully about things before I make my final decision. Uh, just Monica. <laughs> Just Monica. Who's that? Nobody. Whichever Don't girl's, worry whichever about girl's option I pick will probably be the happiest with me and the club as a whole. Hmm. <laughs> I'm guessing they're gonna give you a decision. So what they're saying is route picking time. <laughs> but the other girls might feel bad that I didn't end up picking their option. Maybe one of them won't mind, but at least one of them's bound to be disappointed. Well, it wasn't like I could just back out of this. Whatever I pick, I'll have to live with the consequences of it. I think the club activity I'd want to do the most is... You see, honestly, this option doesn't matter because it's a demo. <laughs> Meaning You're a that... demo! What? You're a demo! <laughs> Because it's like, right after I pick, this is a, because this the mod also only has a day one. So right after I pick this option, it's probably not even going to really matter, because when the full release comes out, then that's where we're going to have to pick it. <laughs> then Cam's the same thing. You're a demo! <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> we both use the same insult. You guys are mean. You're the one being closed-minded for blacking, for blocking me for not liking Yuri. What am I reading? What? Who banned? Who banned? Oh, not banned. Who blocked? Freaking say who blocked Protector for not liking Yuri? What? That's mean. Someone blocked her for not liking Yuri. That's not nice. Why would you block her? Uh, apparently no, apparently Daigo and Protector in an uh, argument about Yuri, so what um anyway. Hope you two resolve that. <laughs> <laughs> They're just having that in the chat while everyone else is just demo version. <laughs> Afro Zero demo version. <laughs> I mean, if we're going with actual like option that would be the best, doesn't Yuri and Natsuki both like the silent reading? I would like a silent reading, because all that stuff requires talking to someone else. Like, because Yuri said silent reading was a good option, and she said she would, she agreed with it. So wouldn't the best choice be silent reading? Don't they already do silent reading in the default game also? <laughs> uh. <laughs> because it's a good option? <laughs> And everyone's like, yes, they do. And I'm like, like, so then why don't we just pick silent reading? Just pick silent reading. Why can't we all have them read in a circle, read silently, then discuss it? Of course! I mean, Mog's not in this mod, so might as well just go pick fucking nuts. I'm doing it based off of preference. Alpha and well, I'm doing it based off of idea that makes the most sense. And the idea that makes the most sense is silent reading. The game's like, oh, so you want to pick Natsuki? No, I'm just... No. It's like, it makes the most sense. Because all the other ones, no one... Because reading in a circle is bad. Because both Yuri and Natsuki are shy. Why would you want to do that? Especially because they just joined the club. Like, everyone hate. It's like the equivalent to when the teacher's like, Okay, it's the first day of school. Now we're going to go in a circle and everyone has to tell you something about themselves. No one likes that. <laughs> no one... Yeah, no one... I remember, like, on the first day of school, we had, like, a piece of paper and we had to go around... And write down something that we knew about someone else, and then we just threw them away. Because, no one because likes. It, it's like no, yeah, like no one likes that. Also, sharing genres, that one, no one else liked that either. <laughs> and plus, Natsuki doesn't like to say she reads manga, so silent reading is just better for everyone. Yeah. So well, there you go. We picked silent reading. How do you portray- you portrayed Relagaz? We portray Relagaz a lot of the time we don't pick Sayori. This isn't because- And I didn't do it out of love interest. Honestly, Sayori's idea was the worst idea out of all of them. We constantly disappoint Relagaz. It's nothing new. It's okay. Relagaz knows we love him. Yeah, we love- we love you're also, we already- also, we didn't disappoint Relagaz because they're giving him Sayori Encore route right now. 
Uh-huh. Well... It's the first real day of the club. Probably wouldn't be a great idea to put too much pressure on Natsuki or Yuri so soon into things. Exactly! <laughs> Does, betraying Rella is a common theme on the channel. <laughs> Cam is right. For now, the best course of option would be to settle in and relax. After that, we can start doing some real activities. Okay, I've got it. Everyone immediately starts staring in my direction. That's a little scary. <laughs> I think that since this is the first real club meeting for most of us, we should try and take things slow and do some reading alone. That way, everyone can kind of get used to how things work and relax. All three girls change How is Yuri, like, upset? She agreed with it! Yuri, you don't make sense! <laughs> All three girls change their expressions on a dime, showing their emotions on their sleeves. Oh my god! Oh no! It's like Tall Tale! <laughs> Sayori's disappointed with my choice! Oh my god! Sayori yeah. will, rem Sayori will yeah. remember that! <laughs> Sayori will remember that you didn't like her poem! <laughs> no! And then Sayori will leave me to die! God. Sayori's disappointed with my choice. I guess that after waiting so long to get any, anyone to join her club, she'd be eager to get things going and do some stuff together. I can't blame her for that. Yuri, on the other hand, looks relieved. Oh my god, they're actually- I, I can't wait for the full version of this mod. <laughs> there's, a, there's a bad one, a middle ground, and then the one that you- like, And then the one that's happy. Oh god, you're probably gonna have to balance that out, too. Yeah, unless you don't like the other ones. You're probably gonna have to balance that out for like the best ending. You're probably we're probably gonna have to like hang out with the red person, at least get them to like yellow. Yeah. Your on the other hand looks relieved. Considering how timid and shy she was, having to present and read aloud probably scared her a lot. She'll probably become more open with time, but for now this is the best option for her. I know another mod that did that is um Ah, oh, it's been a while. Twin realities. They were doing that, but they didn't have the little colored text. They would just have, like, your MC reevaluate a lot of the time and be like, I did spend oh, time yeah. with Natsuki today. Like, so, like, that one's pretty cool. I'm still waiting for Twin Reality to get more stuff. At the, at the end of the day, they would they would basically tell you yeah. what you should next. <laughs> you would have an overview and be like, huh. Yeah. Natsuki seems very happy about my choice. Well, I figured she would be. This was her idea. I was silent for a few seconds, while I'm letting my decision sink in. Finally, Sarah opens her mouth to speak, trying to hide her disappointment. Okay, everyone. You heard Zero. Let's all go and do some reading. Oh, oh that's everyone. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I take a seat. I take a seat at a desk near the back, kind of awkwardly staring off into space. I've got pretty much nothing to do at the moment. <laughs> I didn't, even think to, didn't even think to bring any of my manga to read. This is a very long day. I might end this here, because I mean, I think this is enough for an episode, and we just record the rest of this mod. Hello, it is me, N N Other Zero. <laughs> <coughs> and coughing Monica. I'm sorry. <laughs> here to warn you about the danger fu dangerous future. I just, I just ate chocolate, so that was all in my throat. I see. Thank you for sharing. No problem. Why are you so quiet? Because I was talking quietly. No. Oh, no. I was like, <laughs> damn it, Monica. No. <laughs> We've been over this. But anyway, um, yeah. So the other part of this video was the stream. And now this is the recording part because, you know, recording the rest. Because, yeah, why not? So also, there's a few things I want to cover. One, I opened up the game. <laughs> and I guess I was lucky enough to get Sayori hanging in the background. Did you? Are you sure that wasn't there before? That was not there before. I am, like, pretty sure. Hmm, you should look back. I'm pretty sure. I was. I looked at it, re I looked back recently to make sure why I cut off. It wasn't there. You're not there. What? How am I talking, then? <laughs> crazy. Anyway, well, this was another, another, another thing. another thing I wanted to talk about was the fact that the creator put a comment asking about, uh, telling me about, telling me to check the files. So, 
we are going to do that. Oh god, this is not how you guys cannot even see what the name of the file is. Hold up. There we go. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna check the files, and there is a file in here called it's me.txt, and it reads You came back. Don't say I didn't warn you. Thank you, file. Very cool. So <laughs> That's it? That's it. I mean, I guess technically this will tell me to kind of keep track of the files. I don't know how much is left of this demo, but I will try to keep track of them. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyway, let us proceed. I've got pretty much nothing to do at the moment. Didn't even think to bring any of my manga to read. So, without anything better to do, I put myself glancing around the room to check on the others. Natsuki's sitting in the corner, next to the closet, while Yuri took a seat at a desk in the middle of the classroom. Judging by her expression, she's totally immersed by her book. Sayori seems far away from them, taking a seat at the teacher's desk, looking like she was writing something. She looks somewhat downcast. I start to feel a little guilty about my decision. Sure, it was probably best for the actual club, but it's not particularly exciting for someone like her. Well, yeah, but think about the club! If she's gonna be the leader, she has to think about what's best for the club. <laughs> Alright. Right, come on now. Can't be selfish. Also, I feel bad be saying the stuff about Sayori while her hanging body is in the background. <laughs> I see Mr. Cow over there. Okay, shut up. <laughs> Look at him! He's just over there. Yeah, you know. Be Mr. Cow. Watching his owner hang. Actually, Mrs. Cow. He doesn't have a Mrs. Cow. He's alone. No, Mrs. Cow is him. He oh, is Mrs. Shut Cow. up. I know. Cow. <laughs> He's Mr. Cow to me still. I should probably stop staring at everyone. I look back at my bag and start shuffling through it, once again finding nothing to do of note. I only to trap myself with the decision, didn't I? Ugh. After a few moments of silence, I finally decided to do something with my time. My Natsuki said, there's a chance to adjust to the club, so I should probably get up and start some casual chatter. Maybe I could get to know Natsuki or Yuri more. Or I could try and make up for disappointing Sayori and spend some time with her. Hmm. Oh, you're gonna do it to me, aren't, me, aren't you? Ah, I did it to me. <laughs> Alright. But this is good, though. Because, yeah, I'm gonna go with Sayori now. Because she's upset. And I think we should cheer her up. I mean, we picked we picked Natsuki's idea, and Natsuki's happy, remember? She's fine with it. Yuri is in the neutral. She's content. Sayori's the only one who's actually, like, upset, and I feel like it's smart oh, yeah. to talk to her. I forgot this one, did we? Yeah, it's like it's the smartest thing to talk to Sayori. I look back over at Sayori, frowning. She's still writing on a piece of paper, staring at it with this weird, empty look in her eyes. She doesn't look bored, just content, I guess. I sigh quietly, climbing on my chair and walking towards her, guilt dragging me her way. And this was her club, and she couldn't even enjoy it right now because of my decision. God, I could be so stupid. Once I reach her, I gently poke her arm and give her a little wave. Hey, Sayori. Huh? Um, uh, sorry about my decision. I was just trying to look out for the other club members, and I didn't really consider you as much as I should have. Sorry seems to frown at me, as if processing my apology. Zero? You don't need to apologize. You did the right thing. Looking out for Yuri Natsuki like that. Yeah, I'm not a super big fan of doing nothing after waiting so long to finally get a club together, but that's fine. We'll have plenty of time to do some fun activities later. You're right. It's probably better if we relax at first. I mean, technically, none of you are official members yet anyway, as far as I know. Hee. <laughs> so I'm fine. Don't worry. You know, it's really hard for Sarah to say that she's fine with that poster in the background. <laughs> Just right next to her. I'm fine! <laughs> this is really meta. <laughs> it's right there, too. Like, it's like it's right it's beside It's so her. creepy. It's so unsettling. It's so, like, unsettling. <laughs> it's like, ugh. <laughs> How much you want to bet that that's like a value that carried over from the base game and it didn't even know it was Probably. Finished. It was probably either a value carried over from the base game or it's a value that he meant to carry over from the base game and he wanted to keep there. Uh, yeah. 
I stared at her for a second, frowning. And while she was smiling, I could feel the disappointment radiating from her expression. Maybe, but I just don't want to make up for it, right? She stares at me curiously as I start digging through my pocket. I pull out my wallet and smile at her, handing her a couple bills. Here, should be enough for an apple juice and a cookie at the vending machine. Can that make up for things? Sarah's eyes widen so much, I'm almost worried they're going to pop straight out. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I can't take that, Zero. You should get yourself something tasty with that. Nah, not hungry. And giving you a little snack money is the least I could do for you after all, after all this. She stares at me, before looking back at the money and snagging it. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Thanks, Zero. You're the bestest friend ever. Of course you take it. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab it in a second. I just wanna finish this up first. So he looks back down at the piece of paper she was writing on earlier, getting back to filling it out with a newfound excited grin. I'll watch her work for a second, kneeling down to try and get a better look at it, but can't find a good angle. What are you working on, Sayori? She giggles excitedly, leaning back a little so I can get a good look at it. Well, since my current plan sort of, plan sort of fell apart, I was trying to make a list of fun activities we could do in later meetings. Go ahead, tell me what you think. She gives a proud smile, watching me expectantly. I'm not really sure what to expect, but definitely curious to see what she came up with. I begin scanning the ideas she listed on the paper. So her ideas are pretty distinctively, pretty distinct, distinctly Sayori, and aren't really worth considering as serious ideas. But some others actually seem really good. Individual time could be something we do, just like right now. Writing poems was another good one, even if I didn't have any real writing talent. Critiquing stories could work too, assuming not to get any interest in that. Huh? Uh huh. These are some really good ideas, Sayori. Hehe. <laughs> she just giggled proudly. I only want to have a good variety of activities here, so we can bring in more members later. And hopefully with some more variety, I can make things better for Yuri and Natsuki here too. I just want everyone to be happy here, you know? And that feels really hard sometimes, but I'm gonna try my best. That's all we can do, right? Oh god, oh, oh what? Oh what? Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm starting to think that post in the background wasn't an accident. Oh no! Oh no, no! Her, her eyes did pop out of her head. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> she's all pre Oh no, she's all hurt. Happiness doesn't exist in this world. Don't you know? Don't you see? Can't that sounds see? like a good plan to me. <laughs> oh, fuck! Yeah. Me too. Sounds great, Sayori. I know, I know. Um, now I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just spritz you with some holy water. <laughs> what the fuck? I wasn't I mean I don't I don't know. You just real quick, spritz you with some holy water. My smile at her. I'm honestly kind of amazed. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm about. amazed that she turned into a demon in front of my eyes. <laughs> and turn back. <laughs> and then turn back. <laughs> I knew Sayori wasn't totally dumb. She could be really cunning when she wanted to, especially when involved pranking me. But to see her use her knowledge for good, trying to bring this whole club together, just made me happy to see. I'm really glad you like it so far, Zero. I think that's probably a pretty good list for now, so... See you in a little bit. Tell the other girls where I am if they ask. Not gave me any time to object. Sarah so grabs her piece of paper and the money I gave her before running out of the classroom. Okay, so let's talk about what, so wait, what did it say? Did it say... It said, there is isn't happiness in this world, can't you see? Or something like that. Is that what it said? Or ha happiness doesn't exist in this world, can't you yeah, see? Yeah, happy, yeah, happiness doesn't exist in this world. Oh shit, we have the entire thing right here. Uh, I just want everyone to be happy. And that feels really hard. We're try we're, we've got to try to make as many people as happy as we can. I mean, that's the only reason I drag myself out of bed every single day, even though I know it's pointless. Because no matter how hard I try to pretend, I know nothing here is real. We're all just fake people, living in a faker world with no hope of finding joy. Happiness doesn't exist in this world, can't you see? Oh, yeah, so... 
I think that's Monica. I think that's Monica talking. What? I don't know. I think that's Sayori. You think that's actually Sayori? Yeah, because the mod, the name of the mod is God Syndrome, so maybe this is just about Sayori becoming club president, so she gets what Monica had, and she has, she's trying she to deal with it. She gets self-aware, and she's trying to slowly deal with it. Yeah. Maybe. Or there's something in this game. Again. Kind of like good ending, or like there's something in the game fucking with, like there's something in this game. Because who, because who would left the it's me dot text? Well, see, the it's, it's me could still be Monica, but the person doing all this could very well not be Monica. Uh-huh. Because the it's me technically isn't anything sinister. It's just, you came back. Don't say I didn't warn you. That could just be Monica saying, like, don't say I didn't warn you. I told you no happiness. <laughs> it's I up to you. I told you to get away from us. <laughs> yeah, and then maybe us being in this game is just like all the fucked up shit in the game is now getting to Sayori and is fucking with her and then now like that's why everything's all creepy and weird. <laughs> yep. So yeah, that's gonna be interesting. She ran on her heel once she was outside the door, heading for the nearest vending machine. I accidentally clicked enter on my notepad and opened up the dot in the notepad again. <laughs> that was Sayori for you. I chuckled. God I got, ma got, got, I got managed to cheer her up and apologize. Walk back towards my desk and sit down. Watching the clock, once again, left with nothing to do. But it was a lot easier to deal with my boredom when I felt good about what I did. Huh. Oh! The poster's gone! That was, that was meant to be there. R slash hmm. R slash hmm. That was definitely meant to be there, because suddenly it's gone. Yeah. Sorry, comes back after a few moments, devouring her snack in a flash before calling the rest of the club together. Okay, everyone! It only takes everyone a couple seconds to gather together. Huh? I think now's probably a good time to wrap up today's meeting. Oh, so anything else you want to say? Or should we just grab our stuff and part ways? So he just kind of smiles, looking a little more stressed all of a sudden. Actually, there is one thing. Yuri seems to notice the concern in her eyes immediately, smiling to try and comfort her. You're all gonna die. Then go on, we're listening. So what is this music? Oh. Hehe. <laughs> it's kind of hard to say this out loud, but... I don't really think I'll be a good club president for you all. So he continues, looking sad but content. I screwed up the pamphlets by forgetting to put the room number on them. And when you two joined, I burst you two together and started an argument. And every time I messed up, Zero was the one who fixed it. She regains her composure, trying to talk more like she usually did, carefree and cheerful. So? I bet it'd be better if Zero was the club president instead of me! Wait, what? I've got almost no interest in literature, and my leadership skills are probably even more mediocre than Sayori's. How can I be a club president? I've never been in any kind of club before. If she can't handle this, then how am I supposed to? After a few moments of silence, Yuri decides to break it. Don't take this the wrong way, Sayori. You've done your best running the club today, and I believe that's appreciated by everyone. But I'm also positive that he would be a better president than you. Is this what's happening right now? He seems to have a natural talent for leadership, after all. I kinda hate to say it, but I agree with that too. E2, Natsuki? <laughs> <laughs> it's French. I think. It's either French no, or it's Spanish. Not. It's Spanish. It's Spanish. Yeah. It's just E2. <laughs> E2, Natsuki? <laughs> But wait, can't I say something? Immediately everyone goes silent, just staring at me. Why does this keep happening? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way I could be club president. I don't have any idea how to run a club, and I'm not even that versed in literature. I just told you guys down. There. I said it. B but... Uh, I'm sorry, I just there assumed... Comes sad, there comes the sad music. Well, no! Well, why? 
you all... How can I think straight with all these cute girls staring at me? I can't disappoint them like this. I don't have a choice. Fine, I'll try and be club president. But don't expect too much from me, alright? That's exactly what I tell people. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's great! You scared me for a second, Zero. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Don't worry, though, Sayori. I'm definitely gonna need your help. I can't think of anyone better than my dearest friend to be my vice president. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh. Thanks! You'll always be my dearest friend. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Did we need that today? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah. Thanks, game. Very cool. I was like, you know, maybe we can go the rest of the demo without anything cre <laughs> creepy happening. That's... that's wishful thinking. <laughs> it really is. I flashed the biggest smile I could her way, willing to reassure her that she was still just as important to the club. There was no way it could survive without its original creator. It was Monica? <laughs> Oh. You okay, Zero? You looked kind of pale for a second. Like, blink. I did feel a little funny for a second. Did Sayori's eyes go dull for a second? Oh! Oh! oh. Did he see? No, we're becoming aware, I think, because we're the president now. Because <laughs> we're like... Well, we feel kind of funny. Did Sayori's eyes go dull for a second? I thought this mod was going to be about Sayori being the club president. No, that would be st stupid. Just imagining things. Nerves and all. Oh, never mind. I think it's talking about the, the her death jump scare. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Oh. Yeah, I'm fine. Just trying to process all this, I guess. Oh, Okay. Well, with that out of the way, I think now we can just, uh, how'd you put it, Natsuki? Pack our stuff and part separate ways? <laughs> As Natsuki and Yuri are leaving the classroom, weighing their final goodbyes, Sari slowly approaches me, timidly tapping her fingers together. Uh, Zero? I was wondering... Since now you're running the club, and we're gonna leave school at the same time again... Can we walk home together like we used to? I did promise her that. Plus, I could probably ask Sayori for some advice on running the club. I mean, I was gonna say yes either way, this just gave a bit more of a purpose to things. Zero? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? That's you. What do you mean? <laughs> That's you. How's this me? That's you. I don't monologue before <laughs> answering a question. No, you don't monologue. You space out, and then I'm like zero, and you're like what? <laughs> oh yeah, I do space out. Uh, huh? <laughs> oh. What do you want? <laughs> Sorry, I was just spacing out. Like zero. <laughs> Jeez, you're worse than me sometimes. Hey. Did you at least hear what I was asking you about? <laughs> Yep, and the answer is, of course I will. <laughs> Yay! Oh, look at that. Oh. Huh. As we walk out of the school, I notice the sun's already setting. The sky's a bright crimson. It's almost enchanting in a way. The clouds are slowly floating along, the setting sun giving them a red tint. I bet Yuri'd be, am I bet Yuri'd be amazed by how well all these colors flow together. Really, everybody probably would be. As we draw closer and closer to our homes, though, I start to think back to the club meeting. I remember a few oddities. See, he's getting aware. He is. I think he's getting aware. I think he's growing aware because he's the president now. Sayori so kind of zoomed out for a moment while we were talking and started talking nonsense. And start thinking back, remembering exactly what she said. Oh, happiness, happiness doesn't exist in this world, can't you see? 
what did that even mean? I mean, why am I only just now realizing she did that? None of this made sense. None of this made sense. I wasn't thinking about any of this until I became president. Wow, that really was a mess. Just letting my nervousness and inexperience get to me. Maybe just relax. I'm sure, the girls won't mind if I take a little bit. They, they take a little bit to get things down. Suddenly, Siri wakes me from my trance, apparently noticing I was zoning out again. You're stressing about the whole president thing, aren't you? Yeah, I guess I am. No sense in hiding that. She caught me red-handed. Don't worry, Zero. You're going to be an amazing leader. I'm just sure of it. <laughs> I really hope you're right about that, Sayori. We parted away soon after that, heading out our respect ha handing out our respective goodbyes before heading home. I walk what little distance I have to travel left alone, letting my mind wander. I couldn't stop thinking about what being president entailed. Getting pretty late, and I'm getting tired. Let's see if there's any files. Nope, all the same stuff. Okay. Yeah. Probably shouldn't stay up much longer. Seems like I've gone through it through an intent. It's gone through an eternity, even though it's just been a day. I didn't even plan to join a club when the first day started. I can only wonder what surprises tomorrow would bring. I head to my bedroom. I don't even want to. I don't even want to think to turn on the lights. Sleep time. Okay. <laughs> really? Ah. Oh God. That sounds familiar. So I can tell us something's off. Is Didn't it going right just something? Well, yeah, it is. I reach Sarah's house and knock on the door. Don't expect an edge is not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, mm -hmm. open the door and let myself in. Say, Ori? Mm -hmm. What am I doing? Something isn't right. Go back home. This isn't right. <laughs> I've been here before. I've done this before. I swallow. Can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. In any case. No, wait, stop! Say, Ori? No. Wake no. up, dummy. Oh. No, no response. She didn't. She couldn't have. Definitely didn't want to have to enter a room like this. Like how the music Isn't it kind is of a breach of privacy? Situation. Like, this is perfect. I don't want to open the door. I don't want to. I don't want to. She leaves me no choice. I know what's going to happen. I already know. I gently open the door. <laughs> I'm sorry. That 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 sounded like a like a reveal music. <laughs> I didn't think it was. Oh shit! It's a remix. No, 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 no. This isn't real. None of this is real. Uh, it can't be real. Sayori wouldn't. She wouldn't. Why is this happening? Why am I seeing this again? Why am I being forced to see this again? Sayori, I'm so sorry. I should have said... I shouldn't have said... I don't even remember what I said. This doesn't make any sense. Why would you... This is my fault. I'm the reason you're gone. And, and I can't take it back. I can't take it back. I can never take it back. Never. 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 I wake up on my bed with a start. I... I guess that was a nightmare. Thank God. I pick myself up, realizing I never actually went to bed. I was just sleeping on the floor. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did I black out? What happened? As I climb back to my feet, I wobble over to my bed, laying back down for a second. Then I turn and lurch my body, grabbing a pen and a notebook I left near my bed. I don't think I'll be able to sleep too well after that. 
Might as well use this time to get scheduling the plan for tomorrow out of the way. Tomorrow's going to be a busy day. Maybe if I focus on this, I can get that image out of my head. Shh. Oh! Oh. What? Why is Monica there? Get her away! She's, She's not, not there. Monica. She's grayed out. I know, but like, why do they have to remind you? Like, by the way, Monica's not It's here. time to make a schedule. There are three parts of the day you can schedule activities for. Representing the beginning, middle, and end of each meeting. Including the options to cycle between each possible activity and watch to see which girls like what. The girl who opts the most, most will be a bit happier with the club if you form that one. You try to keep everything balanced between the girls, or you try and focus on your favorite. Be careful not to like one of them too much, though. Or else. I don't like that, or else. <laughs> Die again. Or else, <laughs> or, or else we'll jump, or, or else we'll jump scare you again. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, let's see here. Opening moment, coloring posters, or reading books. Uh, nah. What should we open the moment with? Uh. Well, so far it seems we have three for Natsuki. Individual time. Book discussion and discuss festival ideas. But Sayori's gonna be upset. They hop when you hover over them for the first time. Yeah, I know. We need something for Sayori. Okay, Natsuki likes poetry performing. There we go. That's perfect. Monica, why are you here? Can I soon? Are you soon gonna be in the, in the mod? See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm like, why the fuck is she here? She jumped. She Phew. There. Done. I'm finally starting to feel tired again. And head on the pillow, feel my eyes droop back down. Yep, and the demo no. ended. It did only say one day. Mm-hmm. Before it lied, and I was like, this is the whole mod. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Oh! Well, who's saying hey? <laughs> Me. Hey. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> what are you waiting for? This is the end. Nothing else is complete yet. There's no reason to keep the game open at this point. I mean, at least not until there's an update or something. There's nothing here. You can waste as much time as you want, but nothing else is going to happen. Oh, it's one of these fucking things. <laughs> Should we waste our time here? <laughs> yeah, click it. But Monica, nothing else is gonna happen. <laughs> Click. Waste your time. This is the end. Just go. I, I get it. You want to see the other routes, don't you? Figure out what's going on. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Look through the other routes. Good luck. You can do this. If anyone can, it's you. Oh, it's sending us back. This is for like if you wanted to like do something if you click the other options. I mean, we're not going to do that though. But that's pretty cool. So I still don't know what the original game means. Click it. I don't want to, because in case I fuck something up. We well, could, it is a demo, fuck it, what's this? Oh, oh! Click here to download DDLC. I figured that. That's what I thought it was. I'm dumb. That's what I said at the first- Oh, click here to download DDLC, oh. Oh yeah, so yeah, I mean, that's what we thought it was, but I didn't know like how they did it though. But yeah, um, this mod's cool. I like this. I can't wait for more to be released of this. I like this idea. <laughs> it's a shame that like Monica doesn't seem like she's doing much right now, but maybe the maybe the mod developer has more in store for her later. Cause there has to be some reason she keeps being like somewhat subtly in the mod, you know? I saw a picture of this before. It was this and then there was an alternate version where Monica Yeah, where it was, was just mine and I know what you're talking about, yes. I know what you're yeah, But I've it was in a different it was in a different art style. Was it really? It was, because I, I, it was in a different art style, I'm pretty sure. 
Because I know what you're talking about, and they were kind of in different poses. Oh, I thought it was just the same picture. I could have swore they were in different poses. It could be the same picture, but I'm not very sure. But I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I got that same feeling when I saw this too. But there has to be some reason he keeps Monica like... Because like I said, she's subtly throughout the mod. In most mods, if Monica isn't going to be in there, they would just not mention her at all, you know? Or any, or have anything to do with her, but like, she's there on the title screen, she's on the... Thingy, she's thingy. on like the opening schedule thing, she, yeah, she's on the title screen like you said. I'm still like convinced she's the one who sent the it's me dot text, which is by the way deleted. They did, they, the mod deleted it. It's not there anymore for me. <laughs> So, like, I honestly think Monica's gonna play a bigger role in this mod. Is gonna play a role in this mod at some point. So, I can't wait to see... I can't wait to see more of this. I really like this. I really like the idea of that you also don't just ignore the girls. Always like mods that make it seem like you have to, like, spend time with all of them. So that, you know, you're not just gonna be like, I'm just gonna keep talking to Natsuki and say fuck to the fuck you to the rest of them. <laughs> but yet, somehow, they're fine, even though you ignore them completely. <laughs> Yeah, this mod's definitely probably one of my most, like, hyped up mods. Like, I actually can't wait for this. Like, the music was really good. Like, I like all that, a lot of the original tracks. There is a lot of potential. Mm-hmm. A lot of potential here. Can't wait to see more. But anyway, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to download this mod for yourself and see some, I guess, of the other choices, make some of the choices that I didn't make and you will see them, the link is in the description down below. And, yeah. This has been Zero. Peace. I'm a chef chef girl at this masquerade. Hiding in this place of mine. I'm free for you to draw. I'm a chef chef girl. What a strategy. Please don't take off my mask. Revealing dark.